is up? It's your boy Johnny Street. I have BB problems with Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to the episode of Coaching Up. This time we're actually coaching up live. Not live, actually, but like coaching somebody up live. My boy here, Kenny, he's one of the uh, athletes that decided to reach out to me. We're doing the one on one sessions. And you know what? We're going to film it, get some really organic cues that you guys can definitely take because they're going to be extremely organic. Because that's how I get all my cues. I get them from different people, different personalities, different body types. And the way I can try to explain it as best as I can for them to understand, I end up getting these really organic cues. So keep your eyes glued to the TV. You don't have TVs? To your TV screen? TV screen? TV, right? Or iPads? Everyone's, no one watch it. You watch YouTube on TV or iPad? On my phone. On your phone. Keep your eyes glued to the screen <laughs> and just watch and listen. Listen with your ears and watch with your eyes. All right, let's go. We're going um, to hit some back. Stay here. Don't, don't lean. Just keep yourself engaged from here. Now we're going to let this arm relax. We're going to have a small dumbbell. So sit down. Good. Now I want you to your feet right away. I want you to think about your feet like being you know, like just even, even apart, but not like, don't think, like start thinking like having a routine. Just like you did when you um, deadlift. You have a routine, guarantee you have a routine these down. Same thing, every time you approach, find your feet first, sit, pin yourself back, get yourself into position, and then we go. I'll, yeah, so I want you to think, squeeze here. Yeah, pull back to here, even more, there you go. Now let this arm hang, there you go. The ability to be able to move this without thinking we have to curl it up, right? So pull back here, good. Now from there, I want you to pull up, yeah. Nose all the way up. Yeah, and keep your head right down. There you go. And then back down and then disengage and let it go up, right? So engage, retract, flexion, down, and then there you go, protraction, right? Do it again. Pull up. There you go. Your hand's holding, your hands is rope. Yeah. Your, your arms are like ropes kind of turned to your shoulders. Yeah. And you're moving, it, everything's being just by this. We're not doing this, we're doing this. And then from here, we're pulling it up, right? From that shoulder, pulling up. This is doing anything but just keeping it in that position. Okay, good. Now I want from here too, I want you to get some nice posterior pelvic tilt. So get those that hip out, there you go. Flat here, tight core, pull up. And just make sure you guys understand too, all of this I talk about in my ebook and in my coaching as well too, guys. So. Hit those links below. All right, back to what we're talking about. So what we do is go over nice athletic position, keep your shoulders, chest up. There you go, hands straight. Yeah, right there. Now I want you to try to touch my, touch with your fingers, extend your fingers out. Try and touch my hands. All right, chest up. Try to touch my hands now. Push them down, try to touch my hands. Touch, chest up. Where do you feel that at? Yeah, there you go. That's shoulder depression, right? That pulling the shoulder down. Yeah. So we have to be able to do that. If you want a nice back and you want to be able to pose it, there's a lot of guys who want to bodybuild, but they can't do this. And this, they're doing in every single pose. Every class has to be able to do this in a relaxed position. Whether it's like board shorts, front relax, you know, figure, even bikini, everyone's doing like this. So we have to continue that, right? Okay, cool. Here you go. So keep yourself up, right? Step back a little more. Sit your butt back this way, back a little bit. Hey, right there. Keep running the bench. There you go. Does it need to be a little higher? There you go. How's that? That feels better. Okay, good. All right, so I want you to get straighter. Engage your core in here. Now from here, I want you to think of your elbows shifting down first. There you go. Good, now I don't want you to go backwards. I don't want you to shift back at all. Keep from here, I want you to pull your chest in like this, not from here. So pull that, elbows down, there you go. Now we're pulling down, I want you to engage your core this entire time. So push from here, good. Now drive with the elbows down, pull from here. Squeeze, there you go. Good, at the end of this, I want you to pull, keep going. Push your elbows right down, push them down. There you go. Good, don't think of pulling them into your body. I want you to continue to drive them down to the floor. There you go. Good, while you're doing that, engage your core more. There you go, that's gonna keep you from bending back so much. Got right, okay. pull, boom, there you go, squeeze. Good. So even when, you're, even when you're doing this, we're not doing this necessarily, they're more so doing this. So the same thing I just did before, yeah. if you're doing this, do, now do this, all right? So keep your hands like this. There you go, it's like that, okay? Now, keep your chest up, engage your core. Don't try and push your hands in this way. I want you to try and touch my elbow, touch my hands with the elbows. There you go. Got it. Okay. Right? So that same thing. Sense. Now while you do that, you can also try to end up doing this almost. So when you're when this starts happening, we're gonna 
pull this up. So when I'm doing this pull down, it's coming from, right, that first motion from my butt. And I'm staying here, I'm squeezing, right? And the weight isn't coming back on here. My elbows are going right to the floor, continuing to the floor, straight down while I pull my chest to the bar. The reason why people's backs aren't um, activated or they can't feel it good is because they end up working back thickness by doing this. They're taking that row. You might as well go and do a horizontal row. What's the point of doing a vertical row if you're gonna end up just taking that out? That'd be like me doing this. You're going like this. Where's the, now, now, now I'm basically doing an upside down seated row, right? So when I'm here, everything, my terrace, remember, the terrace major and minor, you know, the terrace, that's where you get that sick part, your lats, whatever. Okay. That, that, your lats, your rhomboids, your rectors, all those things are everything this way and kind of like this. Everything from here should be pulled down elbows here. So now we're gonna start in a stretch position. So I want you to right away, get your feet in your position right away. Now I want you to let yourself come in a bit here. I want to stretch it overhead. There you go. Feel that stretch from there. Yeah. Now engage those lats. So pull the lats down. Right. There you go. Good. Now stay there. That's it. Up. Good. Now we don't have to hold it as long. I want you right down. Squeeze up. Good. Nice stretch. So I want you to stretch all the way. I want you to push the weight back up. There you go. Now pull it down from there. Stretch. There you go. Stretch at the top. Let's go. I should be able to do, with any load, the second that load starts to, to make this, to change this, it's too heavy for me, right? So you want, like, when I say quality reps, not quite a weight, I don't mean like lighten up so you can do like a million reps. I mean, keep working your way up to a weight that's gonna bring you to failure with great technique. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And that was 130. I was working with a, um, a friend of mine, she's doing her PhD, I think doctorate now. And we were having this conversation of like, I'm like, because you want to talk to me about bodybuilding and whatnot. And I'm like, the a old question is, what is the proper amount of reps? Because people say higher reps for whatever, and then lower reps for strength, and man. And I'm like, shut up. So I'm like, what is it actually? Like, you know, what are these? And so she's talking, she's like, well, we found that a rep range of like 20 reps with like a one to one, one second each, which would be like a 40 second rep. Yeah. And exhaustion and muscle by just the actual rep is better off in big, uh, building muscle than loading the weight up. Okay. Now at the same time too, I'm like, how many studies do they talk about form being one of the variables in this? None, right? They're assuming. So you have to understand when you're talking about like weight wise and whatnot, it's about the quality of the actual movement and that load being forced to fatigue, okay. right? Because that's what I've been just trying to do, like as many reps as possible and like going to failure. And failure is good, but remember, you can, like, put this way, as many reps as, as possible works and then it becomes over, like redundant after a while. Okay. We're just repping it out, like at, at a load, there goes like 10 year reps. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same idea, okay? Keep them where you can, you can favor this side, kind of sit your butt over a little more. And from here, I want you to pull this right down, let it come up, like overhead press, right? You can grab yourself here, here, I don't really care where your hands go, as long as it's doing something with intention, right? And from here, pulling right down. You can drive the elbow down and give yourself a little bit of, like a, let it naturally go here. We don't have to have it owing like a supinated, like a being super, okay. fully supinated, but a little bit from here. Just naturally let it pull up, right? Squeeze it, elbow down. See how my chest is staying up the entire time? Good. I want you to feel it again, feel that elbow pulling right down. Good. Now let the arm come all the way up. Don't scare the arm right up. There you go. But it's, so it's more of a pull to here, not so much like that. Exactly, right? It's a, it's a, remember, your, remember what this, remember your lats, that what this does. Yeah. This pulls your shoulder down, yeah. right? It's doing shoulder flexion, right? For you to have the elbow going back, you're involving another muscle that has nothing to do with this. Good, I think I'm pushing right down now from here, and I'll pull the chest up. Every good rep is you hitting the nail on the hammer, yes. right? Every bad rep is, you see those people trying to, you know, <laughs> hit a nail like, God, right? Yeah. We're trying to like minimize yeah. wasted reps. Okay. And wasted reps is really only when you stop thinking, 
right? It's when you're just going through the motion. And exactly. Going through the motion is, 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 is like literally missing the nail and you hit it once. Like, oh, I was good, man. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> that one hit you get the one time you get it in. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sweet. It was like you missed it like 17 times. It's making sense in my mind now to think of that press. Yeah. It's almost like letting the lat. Yeah, come on. I guess stretch yeah. fully at the end. Yeah, because you, you, you're letting it, you're letting it like open up. Yeah. It's like taking a deep breath. You can't take a deep breath like this. It's hard. It's good. You can crunch up and yeah. take a deep breath. It's restricting. But if I go like this, <sighs> you can look at the lungs. Yeah. When you, Keep going, guys. right? That's why you sit and go. All the air is puffing this out. If I, if I'm restricted, I don't let this thing expand. Then I'm. I see a lot of times that people like this, and they and they're small. It's way easier to open up the. Right? How many hard sets do you do? How many are hard? Exactly. I'm serious. Pure quality, right? Yeah. Oh, so we done like four hard sets, right? And two exercises. those levers there you go now from here now I'm gonna see you right now so stand up now a little tough there and I'll pull back I'll see you right now there you go now let's grab down here a little more now right, right so you want this to naturally there you go so I'll say like right middle when you pull back think of it being there you go right now you're good from right here and it naturally helps you go so your shoulders go up naturally right now when you're doing this I want you to get that foot in front of you a little bit there you go that's gonna be where your leverage is gonna come from here now keep that lat engaged in here so I want you to think about pushing this thing down. So we're gonna actually grip this fucker. Okay. Now I want you to think about pushing it down here. So push the way down, keep it there. Now pull, good. Now chest up, head up when you pull, there you go. Pull, there you go. Keep it driving down the entire time, there you go. And pull, squeeze. Now this is light, make it harder. Good, Evan, good, eight, good, nine, good, press it out. That's it, good. Five. Four. That's it. Three. Two. One more. Again, I want you to like really watch. When you're pulling, right? Like from here, if you look where I'm, like, my balance is, I'm engaged from here, right? So when I'm pulling, like I'm here, I can, I can protract and keep my shoulders still down. When I pull, I'm still I'm still engaged pulling down. Now if you feel my feel my bicep, pretty loose. I'm not at all, right? Because there's no load up. Squeeze a little, a little more, a little. There you go. Good. Wrap that thumb behind there. Right. Most like if I didn't, I do like this sometimes. But I say wrap with them because most people want to do this and then there's this is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. The whole purpose of your grip is to make sure that we can just grip it and not have anything with the rest of our lift from from the grip standpoint. So we grip too hard, we're gonna lose we're gonna lose forearm strength, and then all of a sudden we lose reps. Right. I want to just feel like as long as we can. Really feel like our arm is this isn't doing anything but just hold the. Um, so same way when we pull, we're gonna do it over. All right, we've done enough supinating. Right again, when I pick this up, pick it up like a deadlift. All right, and then hinge like a Romanian deadlift, right? And from here, right? Make sure this is here, not here, here. Good, relax that, I like that. Keep your head down, I don't care where you're looking in the mirror. Okay. You can't breathe good that way either. I just, I, my glasses keep falling. Oh, yeah. That's why I have to keep my head up so you can Yeah. No, because you can, because I can't, I, my, my, my windpipe. Okay. Like this. That makes sense. 
Right. You got it, you got it. Come on, you got it. Five more. That's good. Good. Take that. One. That's it. Two. Come on. To the core. Three. That's it. One more. Four. Squeeze that. Squeeze. Good. Good. Now when you're doing bento or something like this, I don't mind the reps being a little bit faster. This is because like you don't have to sit here eccentrically for like hours trying to hold everyone's backs to get tired after a while. Those are the reps I like. Those are fun, right? And again, like when it comes to think about this, at the end of your rep, like think of like you're training like to 75 Aves, 91 rep max, whatever. Doesn't that kind of change as your workout goes? Like at the beginning of your workout, 85% of anything is going to be way different by the end of your workout, right? So certain moves you can be a little bit faster on because you're already at that point completely, everything's already working. Big one, all right, pull, good. I want you to finish anyway when you're here, um, straight arm pull downs. Do you, do, do, have you, you, done, you done those? Let's do a set. I'll put this back. Let's do a set, one set here. Okay. Just finish it off though. This is the one movement that is doing exactly what the terrace major and minor is supposed to do, which is shoulder flexion. From here. Down. Right, from here. Pushing down the entire time. I'm pushing chest up, pushing down. And this thing is really light. Like he lifts, again, keep pushing, keep pushing his shoulders down. There you go. Don't let these come up. Keep pushing it to the floor. Push to the floor and feel that. There you go. Feel this. Push to the floor. That's it. Push to the floor. Good. Push to the floor. Good. Keep those elbows out and keep those straight flex. There you go. That's it. Keep here. Once those traps start turning on, this, this rep's done. Set's finished. Boom. There. Yeah. I don't want you to think traps are gone out of this one. You're pushing here. I want you to feel this the entire time. There you go. Big chest. There you go. That's it. Good. Come on. All right. That's it. Come on. Good. Traps out. Push right down. Big chest. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good. Good. I can feel like the actual pump. I yeah. feel my lats. I yeah. feel my back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you did all of it. Now you know. Yeah. Like what okay, so next time you go and you're like, wait a minute, I don't know. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I'm always feeling. I'm always trying to replicate or like trying to continue that same stimulus. Yeah. If I don't feel it there, then I'm like, oh okay. Then I should then I'm not doing something. Okay, get back to the basics. Yeah. Go back to step one. Yeah. Shoulder pressure. But definitely like just that one simple thing. Like just do that. Like do that. Just do it. Yeah. There you go. Like, I can now flex your left leg back now. How much different? There you go. Let you relax. I'll do this. There you go. Now you're feeling it more. It's yeah. kind of the only. And I can feel like earlier I felt like <laughs> like that, and then you're like, okay, keep them down. Keep yeah. them. Yeah. Keep everything here down. Yeah. Instead of exactly wanting to curl up. Like yeah. That. Yeah, man. This is it for us. It sucks. Because I gotta go back to cold land. You guys get to stay in this beautiful place. Hot, sweating. Like, I'm still in a sweater back home, but amazing, amazing session with Candyman. I'm a kid. Like, I wanna do more. I'd love to be here more often. I think I might even be here more often. But again, thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll continue yeah. to keep in contact for sure. I want you to keep on like sending me videos of you, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I'll continue to be like, yo, I'll keep reminding you and whatnot. Right? Definitely. Yeah. It's a huge help. I'm Glad that you were able to make it down to Cali. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs>